Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov. In this training video I'm gonna show you how to apply extensions of very long nails with very beautiful nail design with hand painted butterflies. You know, in my day to day practice I use simple forms I don't like experimenting with other types of uh, other methods of nails extensions because I always use sculpting mix gel and it helps me to achieve the fast and achieve the good quality of nails. As you can see, it's thick this product is thick enough but sometimes when I need to make it a little bit thicker for example for sculpting the free edge I can add a little bit of acrylic powder and mix and it creates uh, such thick thick effect but now the consistency of this product is ideal for applying infill of gel nails. I mean placing the drop and this way uh, align perfectly this product. As you can see I'm placing uh, the, the length uh, the gel on each uh, on every nail and after I will be curing it in lead lamp. I'm using 48 fat snail uh, lead lamp for curing gel products. And this is the quickest way of sculpting gel nails when we place drops right on all nails simultaneously. When the product is liquid, it's not easy to do it, but if you have mixed the product with uh, a little bit of acrylic powder it will be easier to sculpt or if it's cold temperature cool temp temperature in your room for example sometimes um, it's very hot and the gel is becoming liquid that's why I prefer uh, keeping my gel in the cool place and as you know in Russia uh, half of country is situated on uh, the north areas and the, uh, more than half of our of year we have cold temperature so you see me uh, sculpted all nails we have cured and uh, now I'm sculpting the, the next layer there will be three layers for this set of nail set of gel nails the first was uh, the layer for sculpting the length and the second helped us to make the the first layer on the nail plate and the last layer it's a builder builder cut which helps to uh, to sculpt the final final layer of course the sculpting mix gel is one of the mm, for me one of my favorite products um, because I have already trained my hand to the maximum to work as fast as I can and of course you can use a simple brush for sculpting nails like that or the brush from gel polish it can be hard brush with hard hair 
or with soft hair, no matter what, what brush do you choose. As for me, I am enjoying using vintage gel brush. It costs less than one dollar and it works perfectly. And let's apply. Let's place the form on the other hand. I think watching these tutorials you can quickly learn this technique. As you can see the gel has some particles in its contact. contact. This is the sum of acrylic powder. But don't place too much acrylic powder because the nail would be breakable. They lose, they, uh, they will not be flexible at all and it, it would be easy to break the nail. This powder only for creating thicker consistency. You know, some nail masters also they they place some acrylic powder to the base coat to make it thicker or um, deep some sometimes deep the nail into the acrylic powder to make it stronger to make the first base layer stronger. I don't like doing that. I, th I think it's uh, it takes a lot of time. I think that this the the most effective way of sculpting nails is working with liquid products because we don't need to shape to shape nails too much because um, thick products they are not fast. It's not easy to align align this these products very fast that's why we should spend a lot of time for sculpting nails it's better for me to sculpt one more layers two or three layers uh, and this way I will not have problems with flow the gel and I this way I can fix some gaps some uh, some flow the gel quickly because the layer is thin. I prefer to 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 place more than one layer while sculpting nails, and I think that this is the modern and popular technique now. After curing nails in one minute in lead lamp, we are removing nail forms accurately. And as you can see, the uh, the gel has placed perfectly, and uh, we, we practically don't need to shade them too much. 100 grit file helps me to work quickly with these nails. At first, we shape the length, correct the perfect shape. It will be something like the ballerine shape of nail but it would have will have have arches shaping side walls from the left and from the right side everything should be done strictly because when the side walls are rounded it, it spoils the shape of these nails that's why it's better to uh, to shape following the scheme because as you can see I have shaped the length firstly after I shape sidewalls now I'm using the cone drill bit this is one of my favorite drill bits there are some types of of this drill bit for example one for for short nails for drill polish and this one is good for for creating thick curve like this. It has a thin corner, so we, we can make such beautiful arches. 
So we just need only for two buff nails and don't need any manipulations as you as you can see I have even have haven't shaped nails from the top and it saves our time perfectly so we have very beautiful nail design with butterflies I'm gonna show you in details how to do it this is the nail design with beautiful roses with one stock technique you know I prefer using quickest techniques for doing nails I think that saving time for nail master it's very important just because we now nowadays we have to work hard and to make a lot of clients so um, let's look again take a look again how to, how to shape these nails at first we work with the length remove some flow the gel Strictly we shape nail by nail this way. It's very easy to shape this product, I mean sculpting mix gel because it's not so hard. So sometimes some products are very hard. I mean acrylic acrylic powders lay like, they are like stones. You have to work hard <laughs> shaping long nails, especially when they are bulky, when the product is thick. Uh, but in this, in this case, you see me don't making too much pressure. It's it's quickly and it's pleasure. Ple it's it's good. Uh, I'm having a good time shaping them. That's perfect. I like shaping this product. And uh, tutorial by tutorial, you can see that clients are com coming back with no liftings and no breakings because the the product is long lasting. Practically, don't never break. This time I decided to shape nails to to make them ideal. It depends on on you and uh, how you prefer to do nails. Some some nail masters shape nails, some of them don't do it. Because mm, for example, I'm perfectionist and I like very neat and accurate shape of nails. What do what kind of nail file files do you use for shaping nails? What what grid? It's very popular in Russia to use 100 grid nail file and files and 118 and uh, when I start working with the control bit I practically don't don't shape nails in this area I use only the control bit for removing the flow the gel And it's very easy. Um, and after I, I can place any type of product. After using the control bit, I'm shaping a bit with an L file. 
but not fanatically. So now I'm working with the other hand and the control bit helps me to remove some gel from underneath of the nail plate. It's needed for every set of nails you do, because when you shape nails, they're becoming wide on their length. And of course, preparing nails with a buffer is a very important process, because it's, it's impossible to draw nails without on the sharpened surface, so nails should be buffed especially for one stroke technique. I'm mixing red color, black and white and creating the, the gradient. Uh, the pink color is more intensive and you can see that I have only the nudging of white color this is the beautiful wing of the butterfly. I'm removing the gradient again and drawing the lower side wings. It's very quickly to draw such paintings. Every time after drawing the first stroke I'm removing the gradient again and drawing the second one. And every time I do the same. Draw two large strokes, two wings and from the lower side two smaller wings. Now I'm mixing the black acrylic paint with the water to density of milk and drawing some details, detail painting, the body of the butterfly and some contours, white contours from the top of wings. When I need the wider line I make so, a little bit more pr pr pressure on the brush and when I need to, to draw a thin line, I'm moving only thin using the tip. Of course, using the perfect top coat, it's very important because if we use simple Chinese top coat, cheap Chinese top coat, the nails will be lifted very fast. The high quality top coat protects from liftings and uh, protects from yellowing of the nail plate. Now, on ship of nail top combo, there are some types of high quality top coats. Extra gloss top coat, which I'm using for 10 years, and it creates uh, beautiful blinks and shines perfectly. And uh, the new top coat, anti-yellowing which protects from yellowing of the nail plate, nails will never become yellow. It, it's very good product for French manicure. And the next type is the iron top coat. For example, for doing nails of hard workers, which can be easily become scratched. So tight, this product tightens scratches and nails will be always in good condition. The next product is matte top coat. And now I'm using the extra gloss top coat, one of my favorite. A lot of my friends have already tried the same product and they noticed that it's very good, long lasting, protect from liftings and designs look intensive and beautiful. So guys, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to click that like button, 
subscribe to my channel and watch the next tutorial tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.